Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. My name is Kevin McKellar, your host of the Upgrade My Rituals podcast. Thank you so much. Today is going to be a very tactical uh, quick tip. And what I suggest for whatever part of the day, whatever routine you're building, is to get the hardest thing that you have to do done first. So this is a, a conversation that... Uh, I like to have because of the fact that willpower is a finite resource. This will drain throughout the day. You will, um, you know, you you wake up first with the most amount of willpower. Say, if the hardest thing for you today is to not have, you know, um, a cookie, or no, actually, let's b- bad example. Let's um, take an example of the hardest thing you want to do is to work on the book that you've been trying to write, right? And, uh, you know, you know that you have to put in two pages. Every day you want to write two pages. So it's the hardest thing because, you know, you, you just, you're hitting some writer's block lately and you just, you have to sit down and do it, but you feel like there's just no time in the day. So what I would suggest is a couple things. Try to get this done as early as possible. So if you are a nine to five type of employee, um, what I would seriously do is wake up early, er, and uh, write for 45 minutes. Wake up 45 minutes early and, and, and incorporate it into your morning ritual. Um, you know, if it's, you know, right after breakfast or right before breakfast, or if you don't eat breakfast, right after the shower, whatever it may be, but do it first thing in the morning. It's going to happen is you are obviously going to be happy that you got it done. More importantly is that that's going to be a great motivation um throughout the day and it's going to carry this energy is going to carry with you throughout the day that you've already put in more work than some people will put in uh, all week you know writing two pages and creatively i mean that's that's tough so say if you're saying kevin listen i've got three kids i you know there's no way i'm doing that in the morning okay fine um if you can Right. If you depending on what your lunchtime is, if you get a full hour, you might be able to write a a couple of paragraphs. Right. But if you're looking at at the end of the day and, you know, you have to get this done, um, the trick here is as soon as you get in the door, don't even take off your shoes. Don't grab a glass of water. Don't do don't do anything that might distract you from sitting down and getting those two pages done, or even that page. Right? What you may want to do is sit down at the desk, start typing, and write just a couple of paragraphs. Right? And then if you're thirsty, okay, go downstairs, grab a glass of water, and come right back up. And until you you know really get that solid work done, don't get undressed, don't get do anything because then you're you're asking for um, you know different variables to come into your way i mean you know all oh, the dog you know we didn't feed the dog or whatever it is right like sit down the very first thing you do as soon as you get in the door write your stuff so either way i suggest to do it in the morning it's the first thing you do because like i said willpower is a finite resource um it'll be harder at 9 30 at night to be able to sit down and not only do it, but then also do it to your best of your ability to write creatively. And I'm using this as an example, but to write creatively at 9.30 at night when you're, when you're, you know, pretty jacked, I mean, it's just, it's tough. So do the hardest thing you need to do today as early as you can in the day. Hope that helps. I will see you next week uh, for another Quick Tip Tuesday. And, you know, obviously, if you're subscribed, then you know that Thursday is going to be a podcast, regular podcast episode that comes out that will have a little bit more of a longer form chat. And I hope to, uh, to, that you guys will tune in for Thursday. And if you're watching, I hope to see you on Thursday. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next episode. 